angry guy here. And women are crying because passport bros are ignoring them. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, please help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel. If you already have it, liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Women are crying because passport bros are ignoring them. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. A lot of my followers uh, saw my video about the passport bros in Colombia and were basically saying like, oh, when I was there, black men wouldn't even acknowledge me. They wouldn't look in my general direction. They wouldn't speak at all. Um, and I had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of followers saying that. That has not been my personal experience. Last night I went to dinner. I saw two guys. They both spoke. They were actually kind of like, you know, moderately flirtatious. Um, I've seen, you know, some other men and they've kind of like barely, you know, like, you know, it, it, it's very much giving like, girl, don't don't look too too much. You don't need to see all this. Um but, you know, I, it, it's been a mixed bag for me. I wouldn't say that every man that I've seen hasn't spoken. But I'm also going to be honest and say that for the number of men that I saw in the airport, and especially in a place like this, because it's small, the walled city is small, Hitsamani is small, you know, the weather the weather has been bad, so I haven't done a, a boat trip yet. I'm sure there will be lots of people, you know, doing boat trips. But um, for the amount of black men that I saw in the airport, I have not seen a fraction of them in the street. And and just so you understand how small it is, I was at dinner last night and there was about seven girls on my flight. They all were having dinner, you know, at the table behind me. So it's very common to just be bumping into people. Um, that was even my experience on my last trip. So, yeah. Guys, so a lot of these women are in absolute denial. The men are choosing not to have anything to them, do with them. They're going overseas and... A lot of women are on social media crying their eyes out because they're going to other countries and the black guys are not speaking to them. The passport kings are not speaking to them. A lot of these black women, they thought that they rule the world, they run the world, and they go overseas and it's frightening because, you know, you ever think if something happens to you in one of these countries, you know, people from your country might have your back. Uh, you might They might come to your aid. But you, you feel a kind of connection because you're both from... You know, you're both from Western society, you're both from the United States, or you're, maybe you're both from Canada. But these women are going overseas, and these men are just ignoring them entirely, acting like they don't see them, acting like they don't know them, in many cases not wanting to have anything to do with them. And, of course, these women are furious, but they don't realize that this is they brought this onto themselves. When these men walk away, when they go overseas, they don't know you. You know, you go to another man's country, and you feel like, you're still in charge, like you're still the big boss, babe. Like everyone needs to bow down to you in another man's country. And it's like you look around, you look at the women in these countries, they are fit, they are feminine, they are friendly. And, you know, compare that to yourself. And really, you know, what, what are you comparing that to? How do you compare? How do you compare yourself to that? How do you compare yourself to a woman who's in her 20s, who's taking care of herself, who doesn't have any children? A woman who was raised to be a wife and a mother. A woman who, you know, is going to, you know, make the lives of these men easier versus an American woman who is argumentative and is going to constantly try to one-up the man and say that she is the table. And then she goes over to another country and she thinks that she's the prize and that everyone needs to bow down to her. And she's not having that experience. And, then, you know, these are the same women that say that these men should be able to get any baddie they want in the United States. And they cannot accept that these men are rejecting and replacing them. But it must be absolutely frightening because when they go overseas and they witness that these men don't want to have anything to do with them. They don't want to speak to them. They don't want to be their friend. They do not, you know, if uh, these men are essentially indifferent to them. And modern women don't realize just how dark the world is going to become because that's more or less what a lot of them are going to begin experiencing in Western society. I mean, a lot of women are already experiencing that, but it's only going to grow 
because they really don't understand it. You're seeing a number of women that are popping up and trying to, you know, do this little backup thing like, oh, you know, it's black men who hurt us. Bro, you're all running around. <laughs> you're running around out there with Pookie and Ray Ray and a little poncho. And and then, you know, now you're you're upset because these men don't want to have anything to do with you. And you're laying your grievances at these black guys that you didn't want. So, for example, you didn't want that black anime nerd in high school. OK, now he's doing his remote work, making seventy five thousand dollars a year, traveling around the world with six hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the bank. No student loan debt, no personal debt, and he's living large and in charge. And he's got money tucked away in 401k, money tucked away in saving money and investments. And, you know, what do you have? You know, you've you know, you've deleted you, you've deleted about four or five of your gestations. You know, that's another way of putting it. You know, you have, uh, you know, you're you're 35 years old now. You know, you 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 have, you know, you have about two hundred and seventy thousand dollars in student loan debt, and yet, and that's only with a bachelor's degree because those because you just you just weren't graduate school material. You know, you went, but you just weren't graduate school material. So you've got you have all this debt. You have all these. You've got and that's just your grad. Those those are just that's just your your student loan debt. All right, you have another one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in personal debt. Let's not play around. Let's not play around, Keisha. You have another one hundred twenty five thousand in personal debt. Okay, and you know you you know you have type two diabetes because you couldn't put the honey bun down. You couldn't put the sweet sweet bun down. You know, you have to keep on door dashing it. And now you, you have you have type two diabetes and I don't care how much Ozempic you take. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to get, it's not going to get rid of it. You, you're a diabetic, sweetie. You're a diabetic. You're going to be taking insulin for the rest of your life. And, you know, and that's, and, and we haven't even touched on your hypertension yet because that, you know, sometimes you get up and you have to sit right back down because you feel it in your head. You feel it in your head and you're in. And you and, and you know you 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 understand you understand that you really need to get into the gym and you need to work out you need to get some of that weight off because it's not good for you it's not good for you the, I mean there's the type two diabetes there's the hypertension you know you you're still you know you're 35 years old and that's a geri you know if you wanted to have kids that would be a geriatric pregnancy but you're still not extremely old but you know we're seeing early signs of glaucoma coming in you know because of the life that you are living and you do have arthritis. You know, you have arthritis and you have arthritis in, in, in your bones. I mean, you need, your calcium is, is, is off. You know, there's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. You know, we're seeing early signs of alopecia. So, you know, you're losing your hair. But I mean, it is what it is. You know, you know, you're 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 35 years old. You're 35 years old. And you already know how to deal with that. You know, you can glue on your wig and everything. But I mean, that's just that's just the standard living for an old woman. And, you know, these women are going overseas and they're, you know, they're finding out that men just don't care. Men are not bowing down to them. They're not acknowledging them. They're choosing to just walk away and live happier lives. And it's a shocker to them because they cannot accept that these men are choosing to basically say, hey, you know what? You're not the person we want. You treated us poorly. You never liked us. You didn't want us. And now guess what? It's a cold world for y'all because we're not even going to acknowledge you. We are not friends. We are not family. We are not kin. You know, not all skin folk are kin folk. And you are definitely not, you are definitely not kin folk. We don't know you. All right. And it's it's crazy because these women are looking around and they, they they can look at these beautiful women overseas and they can't compare to them. But their in their arrogance, they're gonna go around saying, I'm a 10, I'm a 10, I'm a 10. And it's like you can say whatever you want. No one's acknowledging you. And it has to eat away at them because they're because they see these men around with all these beautiful women. And these and this is not their country. You know, these women are not in their country. They feel like they can say whatever they want and do whatever they want. They're not in their country. They're in another man's country, and they're going to go over to another man's country and insult the people in that country, insult these men in that country, insult the women in the country, because they're over there. It's a very, it's a whole different ball game. There was a video I saw where this woman, you know, this guy, they were like in, I think it, it may have been China or someplace, somewhere in Asia, and there was a black dude with these Asian people, and, you know, he this, this woman came up on the, on the land, this Karen, came up on the on his on the land and she was like filming and he said like this is private property you know can't come around here and she basically started running her mouth and my dude stepped up to her and he he threw hands he's like oh you think this is america 
and he threw hands immediately. And I can't even play the video for y'all because you know it, it would it would not be good for me. I already know how YouTube works. But he threw hands, and you know that's just how that's the reality of it. These modern day women they don't understand that you know they don't rule. They think they run the world. Oh, you were Beyonce, girls who runs the world, girls who runs the world. Not you, not you. The moment you step outside of Western society, they get a very, very rude awakening. And a lot of them can't handle it because they think that they were boss babes and now they just broke. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Women are crying because passport bros are ignoring them. What do you guys think regarding this and everything else else we discussed here today? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments, so let's discuss them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.